Hey guys, it is Margaret and guess what I have for you today? It is wrapped up in this brown paper or craft paper, whatever you want to call it. We stopped in Elgin or maybe called Elgin on the way home from Austin just to stretch our legs, hit a thrift store and this is what I picked up. I want to show you. And then you can be the judge, and we will all be the judge, I guess, to see if I wasted my money or if I found some treasure. We'll see. I picked up, let me move the paper, this jar um, with a zinc, I believe, lid. It says Atlas on top like so. And this jar is filled, yeah, there's some jewelry in there, but mostly it's just like junk, I think. But I thought, oh, you know what? This is kind of fun. There's some interesting little oddities in there. Uh, and I paid, let's see if I can get that going for you right there. I paid $12 for this jar of stuff that I thought we could have some fun opening together. So it's not a jewelry jar exactly, but a jar of stuff. So here it is, the jar of stuff. Ha -ha. Let's open her up. Here we go. There we have it. So in the jar of stuff we have a clip of some sort. It looks like it goes on to something and it clips it. It almost makes me think of a, hmm, maybe something for a florist? I, I don't know. Let me zoom it in. We got an upset cat over here. All right, so there's the first item. That's stuff, okay. Next, we have a random ring of something. You know what I mean? I feel like even if it's just really is just bits and junk, I have a feeling my boys will find a use for it to create something <laughs> with it. So there's that. I looks like a piece of hardware some from something. Okay. Next up, we have got an empty jar and it says on it, Supertone Skin Conditioner Compliments of Germaine Montiel. And I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I even want to open it. Cleanses, tones, stimulates, refines, leaves skins glowing and immaculately clean. All right, next up in the jar, let's see what we've got. Hmm, it looks like a rusty magnet, maybe? It's, yeah. Let's see if we find something magnetic. Or it is a rusty piece of something. Yes, it's a rusty magnet. Yes, a rusty magnet. Woohoo! All right, rusty magnet over here. All right, let's take a peek at what's left in the jar. So next up, we have a hinge, butterfly shaped, and it is, oh, it is not movable, but it's a cool piece. I mean, it's a hinge. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> we have a bent screw, bolt rather, uh, and nut with a, Another rounded kind of piece. <laughs> this really is just a jar of stuff. Rusty stuff. Will we find treasure? All right, next up in the jar of stuff. Let's see what we find. <laughs> we have a clamp of some sort. So there is this. I may challenge my guys to make a piece of art with all of this stuff. All right, let's see what we're pulling out next. We have 
what appears to be a key? <laughs> I don't even know what this is at all. Okay, there's that. <laughs> Whatever that is. Then, reaching in, we've got the top of something. It is a square top of something. A jar, a candle. What do you think it could have been to? I don't know. Me either. Cool. All right, digging in again. What have we got? <laughs> we have a upholstery something, or maybe it went on the end of a curtain rod, or maybe it's a knob for a dresser. It's, um, yeah, it's a knob. And you can decide by the end if this is the knob or if I'm the knob for buying this jar of stuff. All right, here we go again. Next up, we have a impossible knob. I don't really know. I mean, this is it. It looks like a fellow with the big nose. I'm trying to figure out what it could have gone to. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's kind of fun. I have that part is like trying to figure out what is, what did the, what do we think this went to? Okay, here we go. Going in again. Ooh. We have some funky tassels. They have this metal bit at the top, like a metal cone, and some little leather tassels. Okay, so that'll go on something. <laughs> okay, next up, let's go in again. I'm just making sure there's nothing sharp that'll get me when I stick my hand inside. Next, we have another rusty hinge. Oh, this one works though. Okay, this hinge is a working hinge. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh, okay. That's cool, it's cool. There's that. Okay, next up in the jar of stuff is a button that is broken. Yep, it is broken. There's that. Can go right over there. All right, going in again. Here goes, what else have we got? Will we find anything to make the $12? Okay, we have a, a, let's see, it used to be glued on something. I can see glue and sparkles over here, glitter. So, it could, uh, I, some sort of embellishment. How about that? We'll just call it a gold embellishment of some sort. Yeah, I don't know. There's that. Okay, <laughs> next in the jar of stuff, we, oh, here we go. Oh wait, I think I found something to make our money back. Yes. We have what looks like a piece of snowflake obsidian tie tack. So this, let me get the back off of it. Yes, hang on, I'm gonna look at it a little bit closer. Yep, it looks like it's snowflake obsidian, possibly. That's a lot of snowflakes for one piece of snowflake obsidian, but it's, and it's got one little bit of a chip in it right there. It looks like, I'll probably try to zoom it in so you guys can see it better. But I still think I could sell this and make my money back on this $12 jar of stuff. Okay, so cool. And if you don't think that's snowflake obsidian, if you think it's something else, let me know. Because normally snowflake obsidian, the snowflakey parts are not as uh, stuck together <laughs> as this one is, but it could still be. So I'll find out. But yeah, I think this one will make my money back. Yay! 
Saving grace, woo! All right, let's dig in. We are about halfway or so done with this jaw. All right, we've got a necklace that's coming out of the jar. It is a long one. Okay, so we've got this fun, what do you think? Plastic gold tone necklace. It's yellow flowers and these cream colored, you know, sides. It almost looks like it would glow in the dark. I wonder, I'm gonna hold it up to my face. So far, no. But maybe it needs more time in the light. I'm gonna see it in a minute, because it almost has that look of that. Let me see if I can get it up closer to you. It almost looks like something that would glow in the dark. Okay. Uh, so far, no, but it's cool. I don't see any maker's marks. No. Nope. Okay, but it's fun. Where's my funky rusty magnet? My rusty magnet is not attracted to it at all. My light is so bright though, it's not really... Let me try to get it where you can see better. There. Okay, there we go. Maybe that's a bit better. No, my rusty magnet is not attracted to it. <laughs> okay. Ne okay, I don't know where it stopped. But next up in the jar of stuff is this really cool enamel pendant. This is really funky cool. That I think will sell. That's the back. All I need to do is put a jump ring on that bad boy and put it on a necklace. So I think that could make up for some of that $12 as well. That's pretty cool. I like it. No maker's mark or anything, but that is okay. Over there you go. And back into the jar we have, this is made in Hong Kong and it is a piece of plastic. Let me see if you can see that. It says something on there. Does it say made in Hong Kong on both sides? I cannot make out what that says. The other side says made in Hong Kong. This side. Okay, so this side says Wilton Chicago 43. So I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to figure it out maybe or not. All right, let's dig in again. Can't, my hand won't go. I have to pour it. We have another just embellishment piece. Maybe used to be a button, but no longer. And then we also have, ooh. All right, this is pretty. Is this a bracelet? Yep, this is a bracelet. Look at this, okay. Scoot over the rest of y'all junk. Now we're talking. Okay, so this is a really pretty piece. It's got this panel, let's flip it, with these you know, little blue crystally stones and almost a chainmail-like bracelet. It is damaged right, here, let me see if I can get you to see. It's damaged right there, but man, is it awesome or what? Okay. Get out of the way all the rest of you junk. Y'all junk needs to get out of the way so we can see this beauty. Okay. <laughs> get, get. Look at it. Beautiful. All right, so let's see if we see any marks. So here's the, the edges. And this is where it hooks on like so. This is the backing. I don't see any kind of marks on it. I mean, I didn't think it was silver or anything, but it's super cool. Is it a necklace? If it was a choker, that would be a small choker. Let me see if it would fit around my neck. Here we go with the neck thing again, right? I think this is a choker, you guys. 
Yeah, I think this is a choker because it, I mean, with this chain, it fits around my neck. And when I try to put it on like a bracelet, it's too, it's too big to be a bracelet on me, right? It's just too big. So this is pretty cool. I don't know how I would fix that, but it's awesome. Okay, there's that. All right, next up in the jar, we've got a frame with no backing and no, you know, stand. That's still cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. I mean, I could see, I could see myself putting a little picture in there and putting, you know how I have the shadow boxes on my back wall or behind my seat? You know, putting a picture of something in there and having it in one of my little cubbies. That's cute. Cutie cutie. All right, going in. Let's pour it out. <laughs> we have a little coin that looks like some sort of tall ship on it. Almost like if you if you're from here, from it looks like the Alyssa, the tall ship Alyssa, or like a Spanish galleon of some sort. Let me see what the back has on it. There is an R. I wonder if it used to be a cufflink. There's a little R down there. Okay, then next up we've got this piece. Like so. Looks like maybe it used to be a clip-on earring. And it's got that amber look to it. You know, you can see through it and all that. But, yeah, it's just like a plastic. Okay, next. Oh, here's a button that says, I love Beverly Hills. I bet I could sell that. Look at that. That is a vintage button. Uh, I'll have you now. I'm totally from the valley. Okay, I love Beverly Hills button. <laughs> then we have got another button here. Like so. Dumping it. This piece is a ball. It rotates in the socket, in the ball joint or whatever it is. And that does not go to it, I don't think. But it kind of fits. We can make art. <laughs> we can make some art with this. And that's like an old-timey fidget cube. That's a fidget spinner right there. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, there's, this is an old-timey fidget, fidget spinner <laughs> right there. <laughs> okay, there's that. Again, don't know what it is or from, but fun, nonetheless. There's a key, probably to lost treasure, which I will never find. Okay, then we have a little plastic boat that looks like it might have been from a game. It's just a little plastic boat of some sort. Ah, there's another one of these Spanish galleons. You can go with your friend. But those are fun, right? Ooh. We have another knob. Again, you get to decide. <laughs> Is this the knob? Or am I the knob for buying this jar full of stuff? Slash junk. Ah. Knob. We have another key for hidden treasure. Put that over there. We have got a spool color garanti. It's interesting though because it's not a normal looking spool. Looks like so. You know, it doesn't have the ridged edges or anything. So that's different. Uh, okay, cool. Then we have this which is a, hmm, this, I don't, I 
don't even have a beginner guess. That's the edge of it. There, there's a ridge there. There's a lip there. This is asymmetrical. We have, I mean, is it a piece of, no? Thought maybe it was a piece of pastel that's just hardened over time, but no. I, I can't even tell if this is metal or not. No, it's not metal. Maybe it's a piece of rubber. I think it might be an old piece of rubber. Something. There's that. I, yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Then we have an old token or coin that's, uh, or a medallion of some sort. That's one side of it. Let me flip it. That is the other side. Okay. Dr. Caldwell. I wonder I wonder if this was like a token on top of like a it says something about syrup on the back, so I'm like I don't I oh it almost looks like it says Pepsi. Pepsi? Pepsi? I have no idea, so I'm gonna have to look that that up. I do not know. Then we have a keychain with a cool coin in it. Uh, again, it looks like a religious medallion. And this is the back. Roma! Very cool. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool keychain right there. We have got a crucifix or a cross. And that's pretty cool. It looks old. There's the back. It's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Then we have a pin, like a sewing machine, a little enamel timey sewing machine. <laughs> Sorry about the cats. They're really after it over there. We've got this little <laughs> latch for like a belt or some elastic or something. We have a small, it's a little gear of some sort. Screw the screws open as well. I don't know what's in there, but okay, it's coming out. Whatever it is, I wonder if this is like a some something for a tailor where they would put something in here and this would mark on the clothes. You know, like you're marking where you're gonna cut or hem or whatever. I don't know. Well, tell me what you think about this. This is interesting. That's my first guess. It has to do with being a tailor. What do you think? I could be so wrong. Okay. Then we have a little pendant or charm. We've got another little button here. Alrighty, another little button. We have we've got a lot of stuff in this little jar of junk. Another key. A earring that is missing the front and it's got all the little purple stones in there, but it's an old little clip-on that's missing the rest of it. Okay, looks like they were part of an earring or something at some point, like so. We have another little embellishment piece here. All right, I'm not sure where it cut off, but anyway, this cross is really cool. Um, the Beverly Hills, that was cool. Some of this is just stuff. This I will probably put in my one of my shadow boxes, put something in there. Uh, my fidget spinner, okay, I can save money on getting a fidget spinner. <laughs> this really funky cool necklace. Uh, that's a random piece, my rusty magnet. Cool, I think I get my $12 back. This really cool choker, even though it's broken. Still cool. Keys, random weird clip, and all of the other accoutrement, and the pie tag. All right, everybody's back in the jar. In the jar. Oh, and this really cool enamel bird pendant. That was cool. So, I will have to let you know what I find out Oops, forgot about this weird bottle of something. Uh-oh, there you go. Okay. 
everybody's back in, I think. Sort of. All right, I will let you know what I find out about some of these things. And if you know what some of these things are, these mystery items that were in the jar of stuff, <laughs> let me know. Okay, get on here, you lid. Yeah, because some of this stuff was a mystery to me. Okay, and thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.